What up, YouTube? Big Lou and Big Louise Coach Review back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the L Thunder Mechanical Tube Mod. That's right, this is the L Thunder, released by a company better known as Viva the Cloud. That's right, Viva the Cloud, straight out of Russia. This is another Russian mechanical tube mod, and let me tell you, Russia has upped their game. That's right, Russia is releasing shit like left and right, artsy pieces, precise pieces, high authentic, high quality, high priced mechanical tube mods. But this one is going for $135 on a website better known as District 5. It's probably the only American retailer that is selling this mechanical tube mod. So if you want, check out district5.com. I'm going to put the web dress somewhere over here so you can see it and you can go to there. And if you decide to pick it up, you're in good hands for 135 bucks. It's a nice, short, heavy, thick, nice, good hand hold, everything. There's a lot of good qualities about this, but what really makes this mechanical tube mod stick out and stand out above a lot of other companies is the switch. That's right. You know how big I am on really cool and innovative new switch designs. And this has got a switch unlike any other I've ever seen before. It's actually a really cool switch. Comes with silver plated contacts, comes with two silver plated contacts in two different sizes to compensate depending on how long the pin in your RDA is. And also you could decide how short of a throw you want in your button. You know me, I like a dead man switch, so I like a very minute press and a very firm throw, and this mechanical tube mod has definitely got it. So let's dive up close, let's check it out, let's check out the site, let's check everything out on the L Thunder. Okay, so as far as these specifics, or the specifications of this mechanical tube mod. It's 26 millimeters in diameter. Uh, the height is 84 millimeters in height. Uh, hybrid 510 connection. Make sure that the positive pin protrudes past the connector body. The landing pad fits atomizers that are 24 millimeters in diameter. And it's a single 18650 Lion battery, which is not included, obviously. Um, the connection in the switch area is a collet connection. It is self-cleaning. It allows the mod to achieve a perfect contact, lowering transfer resistance and increasing performance. Wherever you press, you'll get full power from your battery. So now I'm on District 5's website and you'll see if you go into the mods slash hardware section of their webpage, uh, it'll you just have to find Viva La Cloud, the L Thunder mod. It is running for about $135 retail. It does come in a raw um, brass or a Cerakoted brass. They have a stone gray Cerakote, a white Cerakote, green Cerakote, beige Cerakote, and red anodized aluminum, as well as purple anodized aluminum. So here we got the L Thunder mechanical tube mod in its casing. And like I love and appreciate with Russia, they have this uh, affection for using wood packaging for their tube mods uh my get low mod it came in a wooden box that was handmade and this one has got this cool little leather strap that you use to you know tie up the tube and it's a nice little construction i actually like this a lot you got this paper thin wood that just folds over on itself for this tube and then it's you know silk screen l thunder on the front of it on the inside we've got our mechanical tube mod all wrapped up and if we see and look this does look pretty small it's about almost the size of an 18650 i mean it's incredibly small as far as the dimensions and size of this mechanical tube mod, it is 84 millimeters in height and 26 millimeters in diameter. And at the top 510 portion, we've got a slight taper right here that will taper down to 24 
millimeters in diameter. Got a hybrid connection up top for the 510 and down at the bottom area we have our push button. Now this mechanical tube mod is made of L63 brass. Uh, it is actually a very nice high quality conductive brass and what I like mostly is right here in the dead center when you hold the mechanical tube mod it's got this uh, you know it's basically tapered down and it's got this nice camber. So right at the dead center of the mechanical tube mod, it measures in roughly around 22 and a half to 23 millimeters in diameter. Now down at the lower switch area, we do have a brass button here, which is nice about this mechanical tube mod. You could press it anywhere around this button and it will fire as if it is in full contact every time you push that button in. And you'll notice dead center of the button, there is a vent hole there, and there's no decorative designs on the button, no laser etching, no engravings, no serial number on the button itself. Now when you take the rear cap off that houses the switch and button housing, you'll see that it does have a long and uh, pretty much an exaggerated amount of threads on the inside of this cap, but it is there for a reason. And the conductivity of these threads are actually really, really good. Uh, inside you'll notice there's a little ledge at the bottom of the cap that's to hold our button in place. And this is the collet design of the switch for this mechanical tube mod. And this is a very different and very unique uh, switch. I've never ever seen a switch like this before and it's based on what their trademark look is to their mechanical tube mod. Now the button is in three pieces so we have the actual button housing itself and then we have a spring which from what I understand this spring is a non-conductive spring. So this is a non-conductive spring from what I understand and it will sit in place of this button right here. What makes contact is this portion of the button in the center makes contact with the underside of our silver plated brass contact which is surrounded by Delrin. Now they have two different contact sizes that comes with this mechanical tube mod. You'll have a contact like this one which has the longer throw and then there'll be another contact with a shorter throw. The reason why they do that is to simply just give you different options. Now you will get arcing marks on your contact and that's something you just have to upkeep and maintain and clean routinely. Uh, they say roughly about every week they want you to clean the contacts. But other than that, I've never cleaned my contact and this is over six months worth of usage so that's really not that bad. But putting this together is fairly simple. You just Take your bottom, put, take your spring, put in your bottom button, take your Delrin, connect it to the spring. And the way this works is when you push your button in, the button will make contact with the silver plated uh, contact here on the underside and then it will fire. But otherwise the spring is non-conductive in this scenario. The spring is not doing anything current wise. The only current that's happening is from the actual button itself that rests within the collet and then the contact is making, the silver plated contact is making flush full contact with your battery. So you take your battery, drop it in negative towards the 510 and positive towards the actual button let this sit in here and then when the button is pushed in it will make contact with the silver plated contact therefore your 510 will be in contact with your RDA. So I'm going to screw in an RDA real quick. This is my uh, gold plated apocalypse RDA by Armageddon. This is an authentic original, not a pre-production or clone. Also you'll notice I'm using Pro DNA batteries. These are batteries I got from China and they uh, seem to work pretty good there. 18650 batteries at 3500 milliamp hour and they're called Pro DNA. I'm actually liking these batteries. 
So connection is only achieved by the actual bottom button touching the silver plated contact. So there you have it folks. This is the L Thunder mechanical tube mod. It's really nice. The Cerakoting is really, really durable. And when you fire the button, the throw is very minimal. I mean, very small throw. I push it in maybe one or two millimeters in and it's firing. So there you have it folks, the L Thunder Mechanical 2 mod. Really good mod, really strong, really durable. The Severa coat on here, although I have some scratches here and there on it, understand I've had this Mechanical 2 mod for eight months. Eight months of usage on this Mechanical 2 mod. So this review might be old for certain people out there, or maybe most of you haven't even seen this review or seen anybody use it. I know Vape and Fagan had one and a couple other people have it as well and they reviewed it. But I've had it the longest, I think, above everyone else really. And I've used the living shit out of it. So I don't know, take this review with a grain of salt, I guess, or just take it however you want. But all I can tell you is this mechanical tube bot is a really nice black Cerakoted mechanical tube bot made of brass. They have it in raw brass as well. And they also have them in multiple colors of aluminum that are uh, not powder coated, but they're anodized. That's right. They have anodized aluminum mods as well. And they also have a new version of this mechanical tube mod coming out in a 2700. So be on the lookout for the 2700 version of the L Thunder. And they also have a version 1.5 going only for $99. And you can find that at District 5's website as well. So for me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.